Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to photograph a dress. Now, uh, again, you're going to want to make sure that your light is coming in on an X on your product. You're going to dress your mannequin. This is a really beautiful silk tucker dress. Silk is like one of the nicest and easiest fabrics to photograph. Um, now, dresses, when you have just these light boxes, can be a little bit tricky because of shadows. I lost my phone. I do that all the time. Okay, so you're going to turn your phone to the side again, um, center your product, tap this, the product, and then just pick up that exposure just a little bit. When you have all these shadows here, you can't just take the exposure all the way up to get rid of the shadows because then you're misrepresenting the color of your item. So you're going to have to sometimes accept the fact that there will be shadows in your photos and that's just a fact of reselling life. Unless you want to somehow find a way to get a larger white backdrop and it really bothers you, I'm telling you right now I have built a six-figure business while still having shadows in my pictures sometimes. Yes, it bothers me, but it doesn't really bother your customer, so don't worry about it. So you're gonna take that little turn on your product, about an eighth of a turn, because it's just really nice to see how does it lay and take that photo. I like to pick up the sleeve and get in close and take that photo. I can't adjust the exposure when I'm getting in close, so I have to do that once I'm done taking all of my pictures. I have to do that in the post-production if you want to get real technical on the terms. So then just back up, heighten your exposure just a little bit, take your photo, and that's a dress. And we will move on to measurements. Okay, so now we're going to go in and photograph a dress. And the same rule applies always an armpit to armpit measurement. Always. There's just no place uh, where that's not recommended or required. So again, you are using your yardstick, not a soft measuring tape. You get your uh, camera right over top of that whole measurement and make sure that it's legible and it's clear and you snap that photo. Um, when you have a dress, you have a couple of options. If it's a shorter dress, I will sometimes photograph from the neckline down to the hemline. If it's a long dress, what I will do is I will photograph from the armpit down to the hemline. A lot of times with the way a dress lays, the more accurate measurement will be from the armpit to the hemline anyways. So, um, and that tends to be, I, I tend to be very successful selling my dresses with that measurement. So in this case, I'm gonna do armpit to hemline. And I don't translate these measurements into the listing. I just put the photos and that speaks for itself. It saves me a lot of time and effort and there's um, less room for error. Nothing gets lost in the translation of the um, measurement from the photo to the listing. Um, you are also going to need to come down and try to get the hip measurement because oftentimes on a dress, the armpit to armpit is a completely different measurement than the hip. So you're gonna kind of guesstimate on this dress. If it had pockets, you would be able to judge from the pockets where to take that measurement. But in this case, since this is a shift dress where it's just this kind of big flowy formless thing, you just take a guess. After you get those measurements, you're gonna come up here get your um, brand, then get the size, and you can zoom in on that size, and then you come over here to get your fabric. Oh, sometimes the fabric tag is way up in there. You're just gonna have to kind of feel for it. And you just pull that out, get in close on that, make sure it's clear, and take that photo. And make sure that when you're taking your photos for your measurements and your photos that your iPhone is laying flat like this and that you're oriented up like that and the letters will tell you if you're properly oriented. And that's taking the photos for, or the measurements for a dress.